Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to some more of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time we left off, we were going through this ghostly ship, we fought a tentacle monster, and we're getting closer to Johnny the Pirate. And I just realized... Wait, stop! No! Damn, I there's a door down there, and I totally missed it. And there's an item in there. I forgot what it is. It's either like a safety badge, or safety pin, or something like that. I don't know, but there's an accessory down there. Behind those barrels, there's a door. So, grab that if you get the chance. I just completely forgot about it and went through the door already. And we're attacked by these shark pirates. Arg! Whatever falls into the sea is Johnny's property. Oh, and one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? Alright, so it's time we fought some of these shark pirates with their little spear weapons. Bam! Mario taking them out right away. Hey, and why not? Give it one more try, Mario. How about a twofer, huh? 146? I like that. Oh! Well, okay, how about, uh, how about we take out three of them? Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Well, let's just have Mario kill them all then. That's pretty awesome. I think that's the first time and only time that's ever happened to me in Mario RPG. Be able to take out all of the uh, guys with just Mario and very appropriately learns a level. Earns a level, not learns a level. But he did learn Ultra Jump, which is pretty cool. We'll definitely be having to use more of the jumping abilities. Although, Ultra Jump is a little bit unnecessary. Oh, and Malo learned Snowy, which is, you know, obviously a snow ice elemental attack. We'll check that out later on. But the Ultra Jump uh, is not that much better than the Super Jump, really. Arr, you're stronger than you look. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. So the pirate shark guys will take off, we'll jump up here, grab an instant healing mushroom, and... Alright, where's the intruder? I don't see him. Did he get away? There he is! Get him, boys! Here, this is on us! Oh no, the barrel attack! What the? How dare you dodge the barrel! <laughs> I love how they say that. But Mario does have some uh, practice with dodging barrels, right? Well, your luck has run out, mate. We don't take kindly to strangers here. Oh, and another battle with the shark pirates. I should mention... Oh, great. Good work, Mario. Um, it's worth mentioning that if you have Malo in your party, that you can take out these guys really easily with uh, his Thunderbolt. At this point, it should kill them all in one shot. But I wanted to have the obligatory Mario Bowser Peach group on my team since this is the first time we really get to uh, use them all together. Let's see how Terrorize does, shall we? Whoa. Bowser being the black mage of the party this time around. Uh, I mean, didn't do too bad damage, but didn't kill him, so. Oh, look at that once again. <laughs> is the same thing going to happen again? Or was Mario going to take out the rest of the team? No, oh, no, not this time. Oh well, that was too lucky the first time that happened. So, can't expect it. And the last guy just runs off. Great, great. Well, I think beyond the next door, we have a Johnny the Pirate waiting for us. Pretty tough, mate. All right, I'll let you through to Johnny's place. Why, thank you. Let's see, are we uh, just about ready to go? I think we'll use Toadstool's group hug, because, believe it or not, we're getting ready for another boss fight. So, here we go. Ah, so you're the Mario, eh? Ha ha ha, not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. I love how he's spinning the glass of wine around. It's crazy. Johnny the Shark. No, Johnny the Pirate Shark, I should say. It's kind of weird to be fighting another Johnny. So, the way that this fight goes down is it can go down one of two ways. Either you can pretty much take out all of these little, the little shark pirates, except for one, and then you can just have that happen. But if you take out, you can just end the fight that way. But if you take out all of the little shark pirates, which I plan on doing, then it becomes a one-on-one -on -one fight between Mario and Johnny which I think is a pretty, well, I mean, it's not an interesting fight, but it's it's a fun take on it, just to make it, like, one-on-one -on -one between the captains. You know, very, uh, very pirate-ish, I suppose you would say, just, uh, one-on-one -on -one to see who's best. we get some luckies in there. Let's take care of the last one, shall we? Well, that's not gonna do it, but then again, I didn't expect uh, Peach to be, uh, doing much damage physically. 
Although that's not too bad what she's doing. And then it'll just come down to uh, just Johnny himself. Give him a couple of uh, rounds of attacks, and should I use therapy? Yes, I'll use Grip Hug. Never mind. Because, yeah, like I said, it's going to come down to Johnny and Mario pretty soon here. 97, and... Oh, Mega Train. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was doing uh, he's doing Vigor Up, which increases his uh, defense, which he'll do pretty much just before Mario um, fights him one-on-one. -on -one. So that's like your, your cue that it's about to become a one-on-one -on -one fight. And speaking of Mario, man, I just saw... Oh, here we go. Never mind. I'll get back to that that thought in a moment. But first, he does to get tough, and he turns red. <laughs> Not bad, fellas. How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Wanna mix it up? That doesn't sound like a very pirate thing to say, does it? Uh, maybe it is. Good fun. And good for you, too. All right. Here comes my backup. And by backup, it's just people that stand to the side. I don't know why that's necessary, but I guess we've got Bowser and Peach over there, so why not have some backup? Um, one thing I can recommend to you about this guy is do not waste your magic on him. He's not very susceptible to magic attacks. It's just kind of a waste, especially with Super Flame. I think that only does like one damage to him. And while our normal melee attack doesn't do a whole lot, just this fight is nothing more than a, like a knockdown, drag out kind of brawl just between uh, you two just beating each other up. I wouldn't let your HP go below half, so it's good to have, you know, a few healing items on you, but you probably won't have to use more than a couple in this fight. I wouldn't I wouldn't think you would, at least. Uh, so what I was saying was, I finally got a chance to play Mario Party 9. I know this is kind of off topic, but this fight might take a while. But I played Mario Party 9 for the first time yesterday, and it just came out like a week ago, maybe less. And man, what the hell did they do to that game? Dude, they took all of the fun and all of the skill out of that game. It's just... Oh, it's terrible. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to put into words, given the small amount of time I have to talk about it, but, man, like, Hudson was helping to pr develop the games previously, and then whoever took over for them, well, Hudson dissolved into Konami, by the way, and whoever took over for them, just, oh my gosh, just, just terrible. It's just not fun at all. Oh, better heal up Mario here real quick. But, man, I, if you played it, um, or are thinking of buying it, please, I, I implore you, go out and, and find some way to rent it or play it at a friend's place or something like that before you purchase it, because it is not a fun game. I would much rather play any of the previous Mario Parties. So, if you see any good reviews on it, ignore those. But uh, if you have an opinion on it, please leave it in the comments. I would love to hear. And speaking of opinion, I have an opinion on beating up Johnny. Hey, Johnny, you've just been caged. Oh, that sounds kind of weird saying that, huh? I'm impressed, matey. You earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. Oh, uh, so we get our second blue Lucky Charms piece. We've run out of colors so, so quickly. But we took down Johnny in this ghost ship, the first really difficult area in the game. And after this point, things are going to really start to get crazy. A lot of side quests become open to us. And we're getting definitely towards the last, like... I, almost the last, like, fourth of the game, but it's a really long fourth of the game. I mean, it, it does take a while to go through all that we have left, despite the fact it looks like we're making our way around this island counterclockwise. Or, no, clockwise, not counterclockwise. Pretty quickly, but anyhow. We'll, uh, we'll get to those crossroads when we get to them, I suppose. You must have really wanted the star. Now go on! Get out of here before I change my mind. Shmee! Shmee! Get me my wine! <laughs> Hook reference for the win. So anyway, we uh, use the big spring, jump out of there, go back to the seaside town where the elder is waiting for us. Still doesn't look too good. <laughs> you found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. Don't you are so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yodovich, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder. My impression of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take the star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way ahead. It's futile to try to fight me. Just hand it over, nice and easy. What? Get serious, man. So that's how you want to play it. 
What do you think will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? What? What do you think you're doing over there? What are you doing? No! Don't do that! No! Please stop! Oh, God! Oh, man, what was that all about? Now, isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled like this? Ooh, that's some brutal torture right there. It's futile to try to fight me. Just hand it over, nice and easy. All right, all right, we'll hand the star over. This tickle torture is gone for too, too long. But anyhow, yeah, if you uh, say get serious, the same cutscene just happens over again. So you hand over the star to Yardovich, who is a very peculiar enemy or boss in this game. There are a few enemies in this game that look like they belong more in a Final Fantasy game than they do this Mario RPG, and he's one of them. But uh, I guess we'll get to him when we get to him, and we've once again lost our fifth star piece. Great. Well, once again, I mean, you know, we had to fight Johnny, and now we have to get it back again, and oh, damn, the door's still locked. Well, I guess there'll be no rescuing today. That brings us to the end of the episode, guys. Next time, we're going to find this Yardovich character, get our star piece back. Hopefully, this town will be restored to what it once was. This has been the Johnny Cage, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment if you have not, and I will talk to all of you tomorrow.